somebody has some serious explaining to do after the body of an army veteran who died in a prison last year was returned to his family without a throat, heart, or brain. 41-year-old Everett Palmer Jr. traveled from his home in Seaford, Delaware to York, Pennsylvania to take care of an outstanding warrant for a 2016 DUI case. Everett was jailed at York County Prison and two days later, he was pronounced dead around 5.46 a.m. on April 9th, 2018 at a hospital in York, Pennsylvania. According to Fox 5 Atlanta, the coroner's report said around 4.20 a.m. the Monday morning of his death, Palmer became agitated and began hitting his head against the inside of his cell door. York County police officers responded to the incident and were eventually able to restrain the inmate, according to the coroner's report. Palmer was then taken to the York Hospital where he was pronounced dead, despite medical intervention. When Everett Palmer's body was returned to his family, his throat, heart, and brain were missing with no explanation. Attorney Lee Merritt, who's representing the family, told the Washington Post that the family had hired an independent pathologist who made them aware of the missing organs. Merritt said, there is so much mystery and unanswered questions in a way that violates every policy and procedure the state has. It's not uncommon to remove body parts in an autopsy in order to perform a test. The only thing that's highly uncommon is to not know where the body parts are. How convenient that every body part that could reveal Everett's true cause of death is missing. This reeks of a cover-up. The Palmer family has met with the York County District Attorney and prosecutors were considering a grand jury investigation into Everett's death. Please support Everett Palmer's family and their quest for justice by following their Facebook page titled Justice for Everett. Visit icecreamconvos.com for more information on this case and let me know your thoughts in the comments below.